Hi everyone, this is Michael Trithart, National Technology Instructor, and I want to let you know about a uh, new feature from Facebook that I think is pretty amazing, something that can definitely make an impact on your website for the better. And what it is, is you now have the ability to take a post that you've put onto Facebook, your personal page or your business page, and you have the ability to actually take that, get the embed code for that post, and embed that into your website. And so what I'm talking about is right here. This is michaeltrithart.com. And if I scroll down, what I've added on my homepage, and I've added it in a couple different spots. We're going to do some testing to see if we got it in the right spot or if we need to move it around. But what it is, it's a post that I created on my business page. And it's showing a lot of the recent sample sites that we have just finished. My design team has just finished a bunch of sites, social media sites, and so forth. And from now on, every time that they finish a sample site, we're going to add it here so people can go out and get some ideas and, and uh, hopefully uh, uh, get some direction on what they can do to their sites. And so if you come down here to where it says five comments, you'll see the ability to go in, see the post that I've created, but then also come down and see all, the, all of the different sites that I went in and added a couple nights ago. And so this is just going to continue to grow and grow and grow. People are going to be able to like it. People are going to be able to comment on it. It's a pretty amazing little feature that Facebook has added to to their uh, services. So here's how you guys go out and get this onto your e-agency site. You come over to Facebook and if you do it on your business page like what I have pulled up that's fine. If you do it on your personal page that's fine but you can only embed your post so not another post that you've liked or anything like that. It has to be one of yours. But If you scroll down find the post that you want and here's the one that I did. You hit this little drop down arrow and you see a new feature on the menu that says embed post and you click it. Here comes the code. You copy that code and if we're going to add it to our KWE agency sites and you can add it to a third party website if you wanted to. I did try uh, eEdge at the moment. It's not working for eEdge. I'll play around with the code a little bit see if I can figure it out. If there's some ingenious people out there see if they can figure it out and, and uh, email me back then I'll add that as an option out there as well so this is only going to work for e-agency but I came over and I logged into kw.com I went over into my e-agency website which is what we see right here and I came down to step 3.0 3.7 and what I did is I created a new page I'll just open up the one I created and I added in the code now couple tips. Let me get rid of what I have right here. Make sure I copied that code from previously. We got it copied. I'll just recreate what I did. So the first thing I did is I came over and I just created a table. One row, one column, zero border. Make it centered. Hit OK. Then I open up the source code. There's the table. Now within that table, this part of the part of the code right here is telling me that there is a blank space within that cell. No, there's no nothing there. So I'm going to hit. Uh, I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to paste in the code. And now if I hit source again, I'll see this message. But when I hit save, it's going to save it. Of course, I've already titled the page. You need to do that as well. Then I come over here to step 3.1. And when I go to 3.1, I'll have the ability to check additional. I always want to check additional. That's going to allow me to go out and see that page, see what I've created. Additional is going to show up over here on the left-hand side. I'm going to copy that page if I wanted to and link it somewhere else. But ideally, what I want to do is maybe just come over to additional and just check to make sure it worked right, make sure it's looking good. And if it looks all good, then all I need to do is come back to where it says Facebook Embed Post hit source again, select all of it, copy all of it. It's the same code as I had before, just now it's in a table. And now I can take that table and I can add that to pretty much any page that I want to add it to. If I want to put it on my home page for eAgency, which is going to be step 1.5, then I can do so. And I've already done that right down here. You have to know a little bit about code in terms of where you want to place it. So you look at this and you find the, the spot that you want to place it into the code, place it in there, hit save and then your final end result will be something like this. Now the benefits of doing this from a real estate point of view in my opinion is, is amazing because it's one of the things I always hear as an agent 
or a question from an agent is, how can I show my recently sold properties on my website? Well, here's a prime example. How can I go in and show uh, some related vendors that I want to work with? How can I go in and show some information about a certain neighborhood? How can I show this? How can I show that? This is very easy for you to go in and update. You've got it added to your site. Let's say we're doing the just sold. You've got a new property that you've just sold. You can come over here and you can hit five, uh, where it says five comments for me. You just hit that button. Come on down the page. Copy and paste in the link to the uh, to the uh, property that you just sold. Added some notes in there. Put in whatever you want to put in. Done. End of story. And it's going to update on your site. And it's going to be a reoccurring theme. So that's going to help you a little bit with your SEO as well. So it's going to be tying in Facebook, which is which is something, of course, that has great SEO into your e-agency site. I think it's a win-win all around. And it's very easy to do this. And if you need more information on how to do it, just go back out to my website. Go to where it says Sites for Your Business. Go down to where it says Social Networking. And you're going to see a, a link right here that says Facebook Embeddable Post. I'm also going to have a link going out to this video on my YouTube channel. And if you just want to go watch this straight away, of course, you just go to youtube.com forward slash Michael Trithart and you'll find this video. So here's to... Uh, 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 you know, happy hunting with your new Facebook embed post. And I hope you guys are able to add this to your site. But if you get stuck anywhere along the way, just let me know. And I'll be happy to answer any questions that you, may, you guys may have. Or if you need some assistance from my design team, we'd be happy to help you with that as well. Good luck.